Guys, if you're using Redmi Note 8 and if you're looking for a custom room based on Android version 11 better than Octavi OS, if you don't know, Octavi OS is till now was one of the best ever custom rooms based on Android version 11 for the Redmi Note 8 users. And now finally the competitor or you can say finally the beater of Octavi OS is here. If you're using Redmi Note 8, this is Evolution X V 5.1 which is based on Android version 11. Let me show you. This one is based on Android version 11 and this one is Evolution X version 5.1 official version now available for Redmi Note 8 users. Let's get started. Let's find out which are the things you get here. This is just one of the great custom rooms for Redmi Note 8 users in the terms of performance. Yes, it's great. Let's get started. Guys, the room comes with the Google Apps pre-installed. So yes, the Pixel Launcher is pre-installed too, which includes some little bit of features which you get in Android version 11 as expected. Full screen gestures are working fine here. Swiping right, you have the Google Pixel feed as expected. And talking about the quick settings, yes, you can customize the quick settings from your settings very easily without any issues. Going for some other things, if you go here, you will see the widgets and styles and wallpapers options. If you go for the styles and wallpapers, you have a lot of Google Pixel Live wallpapers available. But I recommend you not to use these live wallpapers. Of course, it will drain your battery and we already know about these kind of things. Also include very cool kind of live wallpapers, which includes this kind of wallpaper, which is of course one of my favorite ones. As this is just inspired from a Pixel, real Pixel device. I have noticed that even fonts are all, almost same like the Google Pixel device. So has a lot of features inspired from Pixel which includes the wallpaper. You can also customize a lot of styles. By default, you have one, two, three, four, five, six styles available. You can also create your own custom style where there have you have the choice of using custom fonts, custom icons, and a lot more things. So theming options are available here. Customizations are available here. It includes some customization, but doesn't include that much customizations, but it includes some most important and useful customizations. We're gonna talk about those customizations later first of all let me tell you one thing in my case if you're a redmi note 8 user we already know that by default with a single click you'll not be able to use the magis 21.0 or magis 21.1 in android version 11 you can install them by just uninstalling this magis manager install the magis 8.0.3 and install magis 21 or 21.1 as a magis module then you'll be able to use that magis version but in my case, I'm using uh, this modded magisk version here and by using this modded magisk and hiding the magisk and hide, installing the magisk hide props config, I'll be able to pass the safety net status. If you don't know how you can pass the safety net status easily, I have a video on that. Make sure to check that and then you'll be able to pass the safety net status on this room. And yes, of course, if the safety net status is passed, my Google Play Protect certified device is certified too. Let me show you like this. If my device is certified, I'll be able to use the banking apps without any issues. These are some basic things which I just want to show you. The things which we have, if we're talking about the bugs, I'll try to provide the link for the XG forum or the Telegram post so that you'll get an idea that which are the bugs. Right now, Wi-Fi display is a bug, so you'll not be able to screencast your device to PC or sorry, screencast your device from device to your Android TV. But that is not a major bug for a lot of guys because not everyone uses these kind of things. Going for the other things, if you go for the settings that Evolution X comes with some customizations as I previously told you. If you go for the Evolver, yes, we have some customizations which include status bar related customizations, notifications, quick settings, power menu, gestures, lock screen, navigation, animations and miscellaneous. Going for the status bar customizations, let me tell you one thing, if you can see my status bar, Volt, Wo Wi-Fi, both icons are available, but the thing is you cannot customize these icons, unfortunately, but that's not a big case. Yes, if these customizations were available, then that would be a great thing, but still it's not that much bad thing too. Status bar, battery indicator, customizations available too, traffic indicators, icon manager. Also, I've tried to hide the notch so you can see my clock is at center and I have customized the whole status bar. You can customize too. If you don't know how to hide this notch, you can simply move on to developer options and hide the display cutout. It's very easy to do that. 
Other things include the notification customizations where you can customize your heads up. We have the notification light, battery charging lights, some little bit of things available. Quick settings, as I previously said, you can customize your rows and columns without any issues. Also, you can customize the smart pull down, quick settings, quick pull down, vibrate on touch and some things like that. Power menu includes the AOSP settings where you can enable these kind of things. You just open your power menu. You'll be able to add the device controls by going here. It's quite easy to do these kind of things, but it does not include those cool kind of things. And yes, it includes the advanced power menu where you have the restart, bootloader, recovery and system. Here. So if you want to try out these kind of things, these are available here too. As I previously said, it includes all the most useful features which you require in your daily life. Does not include some useless features which you get in some other rooms which have features, features and features. It has very cool kind of stability. It has a very cool kind of performance, battery backup. Everything seems perfect till now as using it from some time, it's quite satisfied. Display includes some little bit of things available to styles and wallpapers I previously shown you. Dark theme, clock style, ASIN color, fonts and icon shape, nothing else. Other things, kind of the same thing, security, unfortunately does not include the face lock, does not include the app lock. But yes, you can compromise with that because this is not kind of a bug and it all about the features. These were the things I just want to share with you about this build. The room comes with the Google Apps pre-installed. You can install this build directly with just one zip file and simply just install the zip, install the zip file, format data if needed and just reboot your device. This is all from today's video. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to like and share this video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.